Welcome back! A pro tip is not something that beginners cannot do. It's just a tip that you will learn on your own when you're already a professional through trial and error, but nothing is stopping you to learn it right now. Therefore, even if you're a beginner, an intermediate or a professional, you can still use this tip. In this video, we are going to have an exercise sheet together. Why am I not wearing this? We are going to do this part and the dimensions I use in the drawing sheet makes it difficult for beginners in SOLIDWORKS. So basically it's for upper intermediates. Yeah. Hi fellas, in this video we are going to complete this component in SOLIDWORKS. The reason I told you it's a little bit complicated, maybe for beginners, is the given dimensions and annotations in this drawing sheet which you can download uh, by going through the download link in the uh, description below and they are a little bit limited for example for this radius over here we have no value we only have a full round fillet we have the width the height and the length here sure and the component is we, we can see the cross-sectional view of the component over here it's hollow there is a wall thickness of five there are two counterbore cavities in the side wall of the component and we're going to do just that. So how do we go about designing such a component? Let me just move this a little bit to the left, to the left, to the left and open SOLIDWORKS. Let's just create it from the top together. You could start by creating a rectangle from the side because you cannot draw this since the radius is not known. We don't know what value to assign to this. So I'm going to draw a rectangle like this with a height of 135 and a length of 280. The units are not that important in this case. So let's just do it roughly like this. We set 135 and 280. Over here we can see the width should be 140 so we are going to extrude this for 140 and click OK. Before we go on let's just take care of this full round fillet which is when you look at it from the side the 140 should be here and 135 here so let me see this is 135 and 140 is here right so this is right we are looking at it the right way we don't want to look at it like this this would be wrong this because 140 should be here by going to fillet you can switch it to full round fillet over here which requires at least three inputs the first one would be this wall second one would be the middle one and the third one would be the last one now the fillet is appeared and you can click ok we don't know the radius if you want you can measure it by going here you can see it was 70 I just gave it away. What else do we have here? We have the corners a little bit chamfered, but not a standard symmetric chamfer. It's obvious and symmetric. And the values for that is the height from the side, 55, and the width, 25. And probably, okay, from, from the width, 35. So we have 25, 35, and 55. Two of which are taking place from this angle, like here. So let me just go to chamfer. Uh, right about here and set it to vertex which requires three input now the first one we said 55 no this this is the 25 one the next one d2 that was the 35 one and the last one is the 50 55 like this now that we have this i can just mirror it two times one time to reflect it to the other side and one time for the other two so mirror feature that one and boom and if it doesn't work, just check geometry pattern, which is a very important uh, option in SOLIDWORKS. If you don't know what geometry pattern is, make sure to go to the description below. I'm going to put a link to a video that I already have on my channel, explain exactly what geometry pattern does and when and when not to use it. The other two, I'm going to use this plane. Maybe it's not necessary to do the mirroring now because we have other stuff to mirror later. So leave it at that. Continue to create this counterboard. I don't know if you know how to read this. I don't know how to read it, to be honest, but I know how to go about it. So first of all, I know the counterboard is here set. Sure. Let's just pick a surface and see. Let's double check. It's M16. Um, we have 55 depth. Sure. The other values apparently, um, probably they come from here if I activate any customization uh, here, I could see 17.5 is 
the value for this one 30.71 is the value for the diameter of the big circle big cylinder 10.75 is the height of it which i said and 118 degrees which we don't see in the drawing so these are the values and you don't need to check this because these are all standard we can just go ahead and click ok now we have one mirroring to do first of all using the right plane by the way guys i don't know if you noticed i uh used mid plane extrusion and i drew a center rectangle so everything is placed exactly in the center of the solidworks and that is a very good tip that you could take with you from this video now let's just check geometry pattern and click ok the pro tip that I told you in the beginning it's gonna be a very short one but interesting a lot of you don't know how to make your part see-through not permanently just temporarily just to see the inner surfaces and edges of your component if you must now this is how you do it baby if you just click here on this arrow to extend this menu bar here and open your solid bodies folder you will see there are four columns here it could be more but on default you have four and the last column it allows you if you check and activate it it will make your component see-through so if you're for example modeling something that is supposed to be see-through in the real life you could just use it while you're working to give a better feeling to the people you're going to show your components to that was a tip not that practical but good to know let's just put it back to solid now hollowing the component you know we need shell and obviously the wall thickness is five so we're gonna have to do that uh, i'm gonna pick this set this value to five click ok this is what we get there is one more dimension that we have to follow and that is 190 which is the distance between the two flat edges of this counterboard which which is which we see and for that i'm gonna use this flat surface activate the sketch on it again i'm gonna go with center rectangle draw something like this 190 this value doesn't really matter i just make this fully defined that's fine and cut extrude i don't know how much just make it up to surface and that'll do boom do we have everything i think that is everything guys guys if you're a new visitor here like and subscribe to the channel do that and whether or not you're new or a regular here make sure to make sure to make sure to check make sure to check the link to the free webinar for more info and tips make sure to i'm ryan and i'm signing up i see you next week